Uh, so I want to apologize in advance because I am terrible at saying your character's name. Oh. The, the, the adjudicator. The adjudicator. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you had any problems with that at all. No. <laughs> okay, so it's just me. It's just no, me. it's me too. Okay, I mean, thank you. <laughs> but it, but thank it, you for that. It but it was a word that I looked up. Mm -hmm. I mean, certainly, you know, the word judge is within the word adjudicator, but certainly a, a word I looked up um, to learn more about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, so you guys are both new characters in the John Wick universe. Mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if you remember the first scene each of you shot. Well, yeah. Um, the first scene I shot, we, we were uh, together with Lawrence Fishburne yes. um, on yes. the roof in Brooklyn. That was both of our first days, yeah. yes. And can you, can you talk a little bit about that, what it was like? Was it a, a immediate entry into the universe? Did you get a little a prep? Did, did they tell you what to expect from the universe? Or was it, or was it you know, trial by fire, kind of? Oh, gosh. I mean, uh, for myself, you know, it was immediately a warm welcome into the John Wick family from not only um, everyone at Lionsgate, but from Chad and Keanu, who are really, you know, leading the way on this film. And so I had already had conversations with Chad about the world and about the character. You know, I'd spoken to Keanu. And so it really felt like, um, you know, one of the things that producers and directors are counting on is that you're going to show up um, mm. prepared and with um, having made choices, but also um, being flexible enough to mm. take direction and, you know, try new things. And so um, trial by fire, but like fire that was like exciting and, and charging and buoying, I think. Mm. Yeah, I agree for me as well. It was it was fluid. Mm -hmm. You know, and, yeah. and, and having seen John Wick 1 and 2, you kind of knew what you were getting into. There was yeah. enough history there. And then talking with Chad and, and uh, you know, having, having our characters on the page, you can kind of just step into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm wondering how you found the dynamic between your characters, because they both have quirks. It's funny, because they could both be these, these very, you know, just menacing characters, but they both have these odd quirks. And I also <laughs> think it's interesting that they both have very different opinions of John Wick himself. I'm wondering how you, you guys navigated that. Well, I mean, certainly one of the fun things about working with Mark is the dynamic between Zero and the Adjudicator. You know, they certainly have a long history together, which we know about and we discussed with Chad, and some of that comes out in the third film. Um, and I think that it is because both Zero and the Adjudicator enjoy what they do that there is that element of sort of quirkiness and humor. I think one trope is like a villain um, who is only a villain, you know, and they are only menacing, and that's very one-dimensional. And so I think the opportunity to play multi-dimensional villains, so to speak, um, just added a layer of like fun to to playing the characters, which I think on screen is hopefully yeah. conveyed. Mm. Yeah. And I, I love the dynamic that the, the the opening scene we have together because mm -hmm. it's something for something. Mm -hmm. You know, you she, uh, the adjudicator slides over the coin, mm -hmm. and Zero passes over some fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, the, uh, what I love is that Zero is, you know, he can, he can handle all this, he can handle this. And then the adjudicator, it's not that they ate the fish, it's with how they did it. Mm -hmm. The confidence, and just bam. Mm -hmm. And that makes Zero go, okay, mm -hmm. you know, that, that opens it up. There's a certain, there's a lot of, res there's already respect, but now, who is this person mm -hmm. and what can they do, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And a lovely nod to Iron Chef as well. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing, I cannot ask a question after that. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank and, you. Uh, this movie was, is insane in all the best ways possible. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks.